you want your sports news, commentary, and features from a corporate publication? Would you like to hear it from local experts who have lived in your community their entire lives? As Skyline Sports, Coulter and Brooks Nuanas bring more than two decades of experience to give you old school journalism with a new age presentation at SkylineSportsMT.com. The Nuanas brothers provide knowledge from a family who lives Big Sky Conference athletics every day. For $8 a month or 90 bucks a year, get access to comprehensive college grizz and bobcat coverage at SkylineSportsMT.com. Skyline Sports, every day, every season. Good? Fire away. Yep. All right. Do you want me to do a couple things? Yeah, that's fine. All right. So, uh, you know, we're in a rough spot. We've lost three in a row. Um, certainly not where we want to be. Um, but, you know, I look at it academically, where we just lost in heartbreaking fashion twice on the road to top five teams in the nation. So we have to remain confident. We have a good football team. And they play their tails off. We're down a lot of key players. And it just, I mean, those are good football teams that have gotten the best of us. Last week it was overtime and, and a lot of things went against us. And then today, um, you know, there's a lot of things working against us at the end of the day. And we fought and we came down to the last possession again. So, you know, it's where we are. Um, and we've kind of put ourselves in a must-win situation this week, which is fine. We need that. It's a must-win. Offensively, how would you kind of assess that side of the Well, it wasn't good enough. We didn't, we didn't generate enough yards. We didn't generate enough first downs. Um, I thought we were close on a lot of stuff, um, but they got the best of us. It seemed like Chris was under pressure a lot. Do you think he's holding it too long? Is it the O-line, wide receivers not getting open? How would you assess that? Yeah, I'll have to ask you know. Um, you know, it, it's all you know. It's a team game. Everybody's got to everybody's got to do a little bit better. You know, probably if everybody did five percent better, we looked a lot better on the outside. What do you think is your biggest limitation on offense right now? Uh, I, I mean, we we got we got run it better than that. You know, especially in a game like this, we just we couldn't we couldn't get the run game going. Um, again, that's I'm watching a lot of things, so you know, I, I think we got to run it better. It seems like you guys are kind of living in the short and intermediate area area as well. Is that maybe on Chris unwilling to take a shot, or is that the play calling? Well, it's, it's both. I mean, that doesn't just because we're throwing it underneath doesn't mean it's uh, there's not route on the top. You know, um, there are in almost every route combination there's a there's an over the top phase to it. So. Um, whether the ball could go there or not, um, hard to tell right now. Would you like to see more deep shots and just maybe give it a, to spread it out just a little bit? Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with throwing the ball down the field. Um, you know, it all depends on, you know, if they're playing, that, they're playing the post safety there, the ball, you can't throw the ball in the post. I mean, if they're going to play them back there at 20 and pedal out, it's hard to throw in the post. So then you're you're looking at, at balls on the outside, uh, fade balls. You know, with, with Lucas uh, out, sorry, sorry. Yeah, with Lucas out, and then you know you're trying to put Junior in some wildcat and be creative, and uh, Chris kind of struggling. Had you considered putting in Daniel at all, or is it you know not his time? Um, yeah, I mean we talked, we had we had stuff all week, um, but you know we're in a game like that where you know we feel like we're close. And we're doing some stuff. We just can't sustain it. Um, so, you know, there's a reason why guys are where they are on the depth chart. So, you know, it's a tight game. There's, there's a lot of leeway to experiment with a game like that. You ran some of the three tight end set stuff. What did you like about that, especially early on? Well, we had a chance to cover them up and try to create some push. You know, we weren't gonna we weren't gonna go ten personnel and drop back and chuck it around all day. Certainly. Um, we're in a in a game where we felt like we could control them to a degree. We did until uh, the end. And the hand broke on us a little bit. So you're in a game like that where you gotta you gotta probably play a little closer to the best. I mean, I did, we didn't feel like we were gonna go in the game and score 50. Yeah. Defense played well, but in that final like six-ish minutes, we were starting to have a lot more success running the ball. Uh, why do you think that was? Do you think it was just their play calling, defense being tired? What, what were you seeing out there? Yeah, I'd say, and I don't know the exact numbers, so I'm, 
speaking off the cuff here a little bit. But, uh, you know, they hit us on the third and lo- extra long. Uh, you know, they're just kind of managing it. It came out the back door and we didn't get him down. We were obviously playing more of a pass call there. Uh, and then the last drive, they grinded it out. We didn't get him stopped. Um, the, the third down hit, um, Robbie Wack, the guy on our sideline, the ball was out of juggle and he, he ended up getting it back. And then they got us on fourth and one. We, you know, we kind of sold out and played quarterback sneak defense there, which is their tendency, and they did a nice job calling and ran it more off tackle and had us out of there. And the two touchdowns they did have were on kind of big explosive plays. Like, is that an area to see clean up, or like, what did you see on those plays? Well, um, yeah, we had a we had a guy out of position on the long run in the first half where we should we should wrap there and make it. And then on the second one, we just came out of coverage, and that's just it was a bust. And in terms of uh, play calling, has everyone been on the same page with that? Have you felt like the the right plays have been called to give you guys a chance? Uh, special teams, defense, offense. 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 Sure. I mean, I mean, we go in plan. You don't know. We, we have a plan. We put together. Sure. In just a few minutes, small business owners can now sign up for Blackfoot Communications Services. Whether it's dependable voice options or internet services, sign up simply by visiting blackfootsmallbusiness.com. Click on the services you wish, select an installation time and date, and you're done. Small business services at the touch of your fingers. Connect to more with Blackfoot Communications and blackfootsmallbusiness.com. Kind of what's the, the feeling right now? Um, you know, it's tough dropping any game. Um, every game is a must win for us. Um, so it's definitely not a feeling we want. Um, but ultimately, we think our big game is still in the pitch. We have three games left. Um, so obviously, we're trying to win all those games man, and, and see where the ball falls and hopefully we get in the playoffs. I mean, once you get in the playoffs, it's anybody's ball game. So. How tough is it when you guys are so close against these ranked teams on the road, but just you know, can't break through? Yeah, um, it's tough. We're down some guys, but it's football. Like, you know, you got to play. You got to play next. But I think um, one thing that's encouraging is we're playing these top teams without our starting quarterback. And I, I think we're the top team. And it's hard sometimes, you know, it's, it's, it's um, heels and valleys. We just got to be on that hill at the end of the day. When you're doing your, your quarterbacks out, what's, how's that influence your mindset as a defender? Um, to be honest, the mindset for us doesn't change. Um, defensively, we feel like Teams should score zero points. So to be honest, if no, if we don't score, it's going. We're gonna keep going a thousand overtimes if we can. So the monster doesn't change. We just don't want anybody to score defensively. Um, it's the next man up mentality with my talent. You guys had a lot of success against we were Just a couple of big plays are kind of with the score on. You know, what were they doing? Like, did, you, did they do everything you kind of expected, especially with that run game? Um, yeah, I think we was holding them in check for the most part. They had it. We gave up two explosions, the big run, and then the block and go. Um, yeah, we got to eliminate those plays, man. Teams have a very hard time putting together a drive against us. It's the explosion plays that get us beat, and, and you know we'll go down on Monday, watch the film, and see what we can do wrong for this week. What happened on that pass from your perspective? Yeah, so um, the play they've been running is a little RPO with a screen with the tight end, and they used the receiver to block and run that exact play. And he was blocking for actually a, a, like a while, and then I completed the block, and it was a block and go off the screen. So um, I told the coach after the game it was a great play. Um, he knows I'm a corner with instincts, and right there I used my instincts to defeat a block, which is exactly what they wanted me to do, so it's a perfect call by them. Outside of one long run, you guys battled a very decent run game. What happened in that last you know, 5.45 that they were able to keep getting first downs on the ground? Yeah, I think they just had um, more push than us. You know? We get the stop immediately, but you know the line's coming and pushing. And we just got to do a better job you know, of, of critical down situations, understanding what they wanted to do. We, we should have known they was going to run the ball, you know, and just really buckle down and get that stop, but, you know, play on. Like you mentioned about the playoffs, is, is that kind of the message right now? Is just like, hey, you know, just keep grinding, because once you get there, that's anything that happens. Is that oh, kind of the message to the team? Without a doubt. So before the season, that was one of my main goals, the national championship. And as of right now, it hasn't changed. So it's still possible. So obviously, that's what we're going for. We can't drop another game, but very important. Join Town Pump's Pump It Up Rewards Plus program and never pay full price for fuel again. Save five cents on every gallon every day at any town pump across Montana. Plus, earn and redeem points on your favorite in-store items to get free stuff with our clubs. Stop in and pick up a rewards card. Download the Pump It Up Rewards Plus app today. Or visit townpump.com slash rewards to register and start saving.
But I mean, how's it feel? And it feels like you guys are you know so close to get these these wins, but just can't quite get there. Yeah, I mean, it's it sucks, but um, something that you know happens in game for long ago. You lose some, you get some, but um, yeah, the mission doesn't change. You know, the approach to our each and every practice doesn't change from here on out. I mean, it's take it one week at a time and try to win the next one. From your assessment, what's been kind of the biggest roadblock is the team and the guys and the offense? Like when it comes to some of those offensive, like it seems like you guys are kind of getting into emotion sometimes, but just can't sustain it. Like from your perspective, what does it feel like? What do you, what do you think would change to maybe sustain some of those? Is it like execution? Uh, what, do you, what do you guys think? I, I think we just got to make plays. That's what it comes down to. Ran the offense last year. You guys have some repetition with him in the past. So just how would you guys kind of assess him kind of filling that starter role again and kind of stepping up for you guys? I mean, it's a tough situation for Chris to jump in there, but he's he's done a good job and uh, he uh, uh, has been over here uh, in that role and he's uh, stepped up and made some difficult plays and done well. You guys kind of unloaded the playbook today and had some you know, creative looks. Do you want to see more of that going forward? Do you feel like it kind of opened things up more? Game plan is moving forward. I think that you know, we got to execute it, and that's what's in the playbook. But yeah, you guys are five and three. Still have a shot at the playoffs, obviously. So is that kind of a message to the team that it, it isn't over? It's, it's a tough skid right now, but you guys can still bounce back. Yeah, I mean, this is one of my uh, favorite teams I've been on, and I, I believe in these guys. And you know, this is a tough situation, but we just keep pushing and uh, take it one game at a time, and you know, the approach doesn't change, like I said. Thanks, fellas.